Welcome to a day in the life of my two ragdoll kittens, Evie and Yoshi. Every morning, Yoshi likes to act as our alarm clock, usually either by screaming or doing biscuits, and this morning we got biscuits, which was very cute. Then when he finally gets me out of bed, he walks me to the bathroom, because obviously I can't go by myself. When we walk out, we see Evie waiting right outside the door for us, and they're both ready for breakfast. Yoshi likes to walk me to the kitchen to make sure I don't get lost. Yoshi sat on this towel while I prepared their food, and I give them different products every day, but that's the main gist of it. These two love eating and eat pretty much anything I give them. I gave Yoshi his food, but Evie is a bit of a princess, and she demands that I pick her up and put her where she needs to go for her food. But she's cute, so I do it. After they eat, I clean their faces and the counter and their bowls, and then it's my turn for breakfast. I just had some mini muffins, and Yoshi kept me company. They always get zoomies after breakfast, so we played a little bit with a ball. Then I decided it was about time to get a new round of cat grass out. They love to help me do everything, so of course they thought this was a great time. They love munching on the cat grass, but I almost think that they like this part better. <laughs> Yoshi especially loves everything to do with water, so this was definitely his favorite part. He's very helpful, as you can see. <laughs> he seriously cracks me up. Play? Play? After we were done with our garden, I feel like they still had some energy to get out, so we played a little bit with the laser pointer, which they go crazy for. Then I put some chicken in the crock pot so we can have it for dinner later, and Yoshi loves to watch. He's such a good sous chef. When I walked into our office, I saw Evie laying there like this, and how could you not give her belly rubs? Like, look at this girl. So cute. Yoshi came in and started relaxing on his day bed, and Cat Dad couldn't resist and gave him some cuddles. Adorable. Yoshi loves him so much, it just melts my heart. Just look at these two. <laughs> then I got up to run our robot vacuum, Reginald, which is a huge help when you have two long-haired cats. There's just fur everywhere. I pretty much vacuum daily, but on the days I don't feel like it, this is really nice to have. For lunch, I just made my fiancé and I some avocado toast, and Yoshi loves to watch us cook or eat. He's just a little food boy. It's never lonely with him. He watches us do everything. <laughs> Then they finally settled down and took a nap while I did some editing. And after a while, they got up and they wanted more attention, as always. Especially Evie, she does not take no for an answer. She is like, I am getting your lazy butt up, mom. She even went up to the counter to see if screaming from up there would help her cause. And then came back down to try again. I got up and decided it was grooming time, so we did a little brushing, which Evie loves. I brush first to detangle, but I always end with a comb because it works so much better in my opinion. My fiancé and I like to stretch every day, and Evie likes to join us. She comes running down the hall all excited to stretch with us. It's so cute. And Yoshi came too. She usually does a couple stretches too, but I guess today she was feeling particularly lazy because she just flopped. Or maybe she just wanted belly rubs. Once she got her belly rub, she decided to go look for trouble. She's a very explorative girl, so this basket was just calling her name. And it being shoved under the nightstand did not stop her. It did, however, entice Yoshi, and he had to come see what was up. I watched her get in the basket, obviously, but I love how when you have two cats, you can always tell where the other one is, because the other cat rats them out. Yoshi booted her from the basket so that he could have it. Classic brotherly behavior. But she ended up taking it back. And after a little bit of zoomies, it was time for us to make dinner. These two come running as soon as I open the crockpot lid because they know they're getting some chicken. I always cook it in just water so that they can have some because it makes them so happy. It's like their favorite treat ever. I finished up making our dinner and of course Yoshi watched the entire time as he always does. For being such a good boy and sous chef, he got some cuddles from Mama. He really loves his time while I'm cooking because I give him lots of attention. When it's time for us to eat, they know to go up in the tree and take a nap, so that's what they did. Look at these little angels. After we were done cleaning up from our dinner, I fed them their dinner. Essentially, it's the same thing that they had for breakfast, but with different products. After that, they wanted to spend a little time with me, so I did a little dance session with both of them, which is so fun. They love it. After that, I went into the bathroom, and Yoshi was offended that I dare went in there without him. But of course, 20 seconds later, he was trying to get out. Classic cat move. He can never make up his mind on what he really wants. And of course, Evie was waiting right outside the door when I opened it. I took her outside on the balcony to go turn on the lights, and we found out it had snowed, and she was very confused why it was cold and wet on the ground, but she still had a good time.
Then we played a little Mario Kart with my siblings, and Yoshi was not happy about it. Evie just watched him from the top of the tree like, what are you doing, you crazy man? <laughs> After a while, he gave up his efforts of stopping our video game and went to sleep. When they woke up, Evie wanted more attention, and she loves being walked around and held by her mom, so we did that for a while. Apparently, it was unacceptable when I put her down, so we settled for holding hands. This girl is so needy, but I can't say no to her. I wanted to go paint my nails, but she had to be included, so we did that together. But as you can imagine, doing that with her on my lap didn't really work, so I had to put her down. Luckily, Cat Dad came to the rescue and gave her some belly rubs. So she was a happy girl. They were both very excited when I was done, as you can see. They ran into the kitchen and demanded that I hang out with them, especially Evie. She likes to bump her head into my leg and then wrap her tail around it. It's adorable. It didn't take too much for me to give in. They are very convincing. It's pretty much their world and I just do what they say. <laughs> So we went and grabbed a toy and started playing. They love the wand feather toys so much. We play with them all the time and they are obsessed. Yoshi likes to play with it while sitting on the chair like this and I just think it's so adorable with his little pawsies hanging over. Evie goes a little wild with these type of toys and will literally be panting. She has a little hunter personality and loves stalking and jumping and catching things. She has the time of her life. Once she finally catches it, she does not let me have it back. In fact, she takes it into the bathroom, flops on the floor, and thinks it's a fun game where I try to get it back from her for like five minutes. She's very serious about her wands. Yeah. After playtime, I gave them a little bit of pumpkin, which has been great to give them at night because it keeps them more full and satiated while we're sleeping. I went into the office to try to do some work, but Evie was convincing me to give her belly rubs instead. Honestly, it's a miracle I get anything done because these two are very needy and very convincing. I mean, look at her. How can I not? She is so inviting and adorable and fluffy and cute. Oh my god. Then Yoshi was like, oh good, you're up. It's time to play. <laughs> so we played his favorite game, which is chase ball down the hall and then try to catch one that I throw at him. And he was very excited. I threw the ball a few more times down the hallway to tire him out before bed, and he just loves to sprint up and down the hallway. It's great. After I got ready for bed, Evie came up and joined me and started doing some biscuits. She does this almost every night, and it's so cute. It's like her way of saying goodnight. She's a very hard worker at her night shift. She definitely deserves a raise. Yoshi was laying in his little basket and cleaning himself, and Evie moved up to the tree and apparently also cleaning herself before bed. And after a while, Yoshi came up and joined her on the tree, and that's where they both went to sleep. And that's a full day in the life of Evie and Yoshi.